Hey guys, what's going on? Zephanix here. And today we're going to look at the big picture feature on uh, Valve Steam Client. Basically, for those who don't know, Steam Client is basically how you can, it's the, pretty much the best way right now and the most popular way to go ahead and get all your uh, PC gaming going on right now. Um, it has great sales and things of that nature. But what they've been doing right now, they've been kind of snug on the actual PC and they're actually considering moving out there to the television to things of that nature. So what they've done is they first started um, working on the client part before they start in the hardware. We already know that... Um, Steam has been kind of dabbling in the whole hardware business, but now we got them dabbling in the software part of the hardware part for your television. Basically, this will allow you to see it on your television a lot better. So let's go ahead and just kind of glance through it here. You have basically three options that you can go to. And of course, up in the upper left-hand corner, you have your profile right here. You have your settings where you get to choose your settings here. And then you can also, for example, choose your display, um, 1080p or 720p. Um, your account information, your friends, in-game, you know, whatever you want to do from that angle. You can go ahead and click on store. Now, mind you, from here on out, I'm only going to use the arrow keys because the thing about this client is that this client is 100% workable with um, controllers. So you don't need to go ahead and use anything else but the controller. So um, you'll see all the feature things right on the top here, as you would see in the Steam client. Ooh, War of the Roses came out. I got to go ahead and pick that up. It's one of my favorite games. Uh, one of my favorite, you know. Anyway, um... You got um, genres here you can choose, top selling, specials, coming soon, etc., etc., and also new releases. Now, keep in mind, um, I could click on this, but the thing is, is that nothing's going to pop up for a good while. The reason why is because this is a better client, so right now, not everything is popping up um, the way it should, but that kind of goes, you know, when you're in the beta. That's kind of how it rolls. Um, right now, you also have a library. Right now, these are all the games I've recently played. Um, as you see, I've been having some good times, some old classics right here with Sonic CD and Left 4 Dead 2 and especially Jade Empire. Uh, I've been playing some Champions Online here. You also saw from the beginning here, I was also playing some Star Trek Online and Transformers. Um, of course, you have Dragon Age, you have Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, um, and of course, my, one of my favorite games of all times, Star Wars Battlefront 2. You can also click on all games where you can see all the games. Like These are all 96 of my games for PC. I actually have way more than 96, but... For some reason, it's only showing 96. That's kind of interesting, really. Anyway, um, you get to scroll to the right here, and you can see all the games here. Um, some things have, have not loaded yet, but that's fine. You know, it doesn't really matter as long as they're there. Um, let's see. So that's pretty much the library. And then, like I said before, right here, the tab, you can go ahead to installed or, you know, recently played or whatever, whatever. If you look at the bottom right there, this is how it looks when someone else was just, with, you know, someone else plays a game on Steam. That's, you know, the way it looks now. That was actually pretty cool. I, I You know, hopefully someone will, like, do it again so we can see it again. You know, but we also have community. Now, community will also allow you to um, check out some um, people who are online. Now, one thing I love about Steam, it shows you how many people are actually in the game and how many people are actually online. Um, so, I got more than 30 people online and actually eight friends in game. So... Yeah, interesting. Uh, so you got a lot of people right here playing some games right here. And then you got a lot of other people online right here. So there you go right there. Oh, uh, let's click on someone. Oh, Gamer Owned. Let's click on Gamer Owned. Okay, so with Gamer Owned, right now he's playing some Sleeping Dogs, you know. So what happens is that you can go in and send him a message at any time. And then you're allowed to go ahead and send him a text message. And there you go. And you can also do voice message, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So let's go ahead back. We'll wait for him to reply. And then you can also go ahead and see his um his profile as well. So from right here, you can always go ahead and see someone's profile. It does go back to the web page, but it's still a good profile here, right here. Um, see, he's a Philadelphia cat. You know, my um experience with Philadelphia people on YouTube have not been very good. You know, I didn't know he was from Philadelphia, so. You know, the most I've seen have been kind of, uh, so, you know, but we, we don't suspect that he's one of them, but it's all good. Speaking of that, we also have a um, browser um, that we're allowed to go ahead and check out. So I can go ahead and make new tabs, um, and I can also go ahead and close out tabs. And then, of course, you have right here um, your favorites right here or your current things or the history, your browser history, whatever, you know. Basically, mind you, this is for television. I know people are like, well, what do you need a browser for, for a PC client? Imagine if the PC client was on a television. That's where you're supposed to be. I mean, I mean, by on a television, I mean its own client, you know. There is no other. It's just strictly Steam, you know what I mean? 
So anyway, that's pretty much it. I guess he didn't reply. He's too knee deep into that game. Eh, it happens. But um, like I said, it definitely does look nice. Um, I definitely give Steam, um, excuse me, I give Valve um, some good props for this. This is actually looking really good right now. So, at any rate, that's it for now. If you guys enjoyed the video, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget, um, you know, check out more videos of mine for definitely PC gaming and everything alike. You guys have a good night. Zeph out.